It has been an eventful afternoon. We've had to work around various things on board the vessel, sails going up, um, but we have now completed the installation in 30 degree heat. Thanks to Dan and the owner of the vessel, Will. Everything's done, we now have the terminal in place and we're ready to start it up for the first time. So we'll do that now. So first time startup takes a couple of minutes. Um, by the way, here with me is Dan, the authorized installer. So he would normally do this, but he's watching me do it. So everything's okay there. In front of me here as well, we have all of the information that is meant to appear in the terminal. So we can check that, make sure everything's true and correct. And at the end of the commissioning, um, Dan is gonna sign this and send it back to uh, the uh, service provider to confirm that everything was done correctly. Okay, so here we are at the first screen. Basically it says it's gonna guide us through the installation here, which is fine, we hit next. And it talks about if there's any problems or errors, we can hit menu to check out uh, various bits of information. So we can hit next here, uh, date format. So day, day, month, month, year, year. Um, we can go 24 hours or 12 hours. I think we'll go 12 hour time right now. Um, the GNSS systems, so we'll take all of these. And now it's actually doing uh, the system configuration or it's downloading the system configuration, which is already completed. Uh, now it's doing a bit of a self check, seeing what else is plugged into the terminal. Um, so we don't have a lot of these other components, so there's no problems here. It's just all of these optional components um, are not plugged in. So it's now doing a software update. Um, so uh, this terminal to work at its highest capability um, needs to have the latest version of software in it. So it's automatically doing its software update. Very intelligent terminal. Um, and obviously always keep the terminal up to date with the latest software. Part of it is because you may miss out on key features, but a big component of it is if there are any issues with the terminal, they're normally fixed with software updates. So please always ensure that your software or your firmware is up to date to the latest version. Okay, so we're back to this start screen. So we'll go through that, go through that one, the date. As we selected before, um, 12 hour. normal GPS, doing its config, downloading. That's done. Checking the components that it's got connected, that's fine. Yep, everything's fine. It's got its uh, SIM card, got its time of position, got the Iridium service and the signal quality is good. Um, so now it's gonna do its uh, over the air um, configuration. So it's gonna connect to the network um, and basically download all of the key information that identifies that this terminal is connected to this ship. Um, so this is where it talks to the central uh, Iridium system, pulls down that information and confirms everything that's in the SIM, the terminal, all of that information to basically lock together the SIM, the terminal and the ship. So everything should lock together and that should match up with what I have here in front of me. So that's completed. So we go to next. Um, and so here we have all the different uh, bits of information here. So the name, the MMSI number, um, and IMO number if it has one, it's all fine. And next, vessel information. Um, distress RCC, we're gonna leave it in automatic mode. Actually, we could, we could put it in a different mode. So we can go down to manual mode, and in this case, because it is a, a vessel based in the UK, so we'll go down to manual mode. Next, and we can actually select um, the uh, RCC that this terminal will be attached to. So in automatic mode, it chooses the RCC. In manual mode, we can choose the RCC. So we'll go down to here. So here we have RCC Ferrum in the United Kingdom. That means if ever this vessel gets into trouble um, and they press the red button, uh, it will automatically go through to RCC Ferrum. So it doesn't matter where it is, it will select RCC Ferrum um, for the United Kingdom. Confirm that, and we do the verification. Now this is an important step, um, and this is one of the very few times you can press the red button, um, because you're told to press the red button, um, but it will not actually activate a distress. So it's actually doing a check now of the system, part of the commissioning. So it says you're fine to um, press the red button right now to run the test, 
um, when I press the red button, it'll come up with a green screen. That means everything's fine. It's not actually sending a real distress. So see that now? Green screen means it's okay. So now it's gonna run its test. So it's doing a distress alert um, in progress. So it's sending a distress alert to the system. The system's confirming, yes, I got it. Um, and at the same, once it completes the distress alert, it will then um, do a phone call. So you can see the distress alert has passed and now it's going to uh, do a phone call through to the central system. It actually accesses a robot voice, uh, you know, an automated voice. Um, and it runs that automated voice for a couple of uh, seconds. system terminated the call itself because it knew everything was good and so it says it's basically passed both of those tests so all good we know we have connectivity everything's working um, now it's doing a verification of the maritime safety information system this is the broadcast system so it does uh, a verification to make sure that it can uh, connect to that service and it's all working correctly so this will take a couple of minutes because it does a number of checks in the background um, but once the um, verification is complete, we can move on to the next step. So it's passed now. We press next. Um, so you can see on this uh, page, the test results. As you can see, we're passed all the test results. So distress alert, distress call, and maritime safety information all passed. And now we're going to confirm the activation. So now this is um, the system saying it's completed its um, uh, startup wizard and it's reporting this back to the central system so the central system knows um, that this terminal has been commissioned successfully. So that's completed now. It's reported back. Everything's good. And now we've pretty much finished the setup wizard and our terminal is in perfect working order. So that's basically the commissioning system or the commissioning of the system. The Echo Zulu, this vessel, is now up and running and ready to go to sea with its brand new LT3100S. So thank you very, very much for watching. Please, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And if you have any more information or questions that you would like to ask, please visit iridium.com. Thanks for watching.